Welcome to this edition of the Tracy Technologies webcast featuring the iTrace Wavefront Aberometer and Topographer. Today we'll review one of the powerful software displays available with the iTrace and look at a patient case that demonstrates the value of the software. I am going to select the patient's right eye and left eye Wavefront exam. The display that results is the Tracy Visual Function Analysis display. This provides a comprehensive side-by-side -side analysis of the visual function of both eyes and can provide insight into possible complaints for the patient. Let's look at the elements available on this screen. First, we see the patient's refraction map, which is set to display higher order aberrations only. These are the aberrations that exist after the patient is corrected by traditional glasses or contact lenses. The color map shows in dioptric steps the refraction that results from the patient's higher order aberrations, and you can see areas here where the patient's vision fluctuates by more than two diopters across the entrance pupil. The panel below the map shows the details about this particular exam, such as physician and operator details, limbus size, the pupil size, and the size of the eye trace scan. The refraction information is next, with the green numbers showing the simulated autorefraction taken at 4 millimeters. The box also displays the refraction information zonally at user-defined intervals. A quick check of this information reveals that the patient's refraction changes by over one diopter as a pupil expands. The next set of data are the RMS values, which we described in previous webcasts. And lastly, it also displays any notes recorded for this exam. These panels display the patient's point spread function and a simulated Snell and E. They illustrate the patient's vision with all lower order aberrations corrected. In other words, this is a simulation of how the patient will see corrected with traditional spectacles or contact lenses. But this simulation is at the patient's scotopic pupil size. How does this patient see during the day with a constricted pupil? By clicking on the zone size selection buttons, you can illustrate the changes to the Snellen letter or PSF based on the patient's pupil size, showing the night myopia issues present in their vision. As you can see, the iTrace VFA screen is very valuable in your dialogue with patients. This last panel provides you with suggested complaints that the patient may experience due to the aberrations present in their vision. The potential visual complaints are color-coded and include 1 to 3 plus 9s to signify the extent of the complaint. So, it is highly likely that this patient experiences significant blur and double vision due to the coma and starbursting from trefoil aberrations, along with some night myopia due to the change in refraction from a photopic to a scotopic pupil. The eye trace visual function analysis display provides a powerful patient education tool that shows the patient the best vision that they can achieve with lower order correction. And in night myopia cases such as this, you can have a conversation with the patient using this screen to illustrate to your patient that with a secondary spectacle prescription, their night vision problems could be readily solved. The visual function analysis display provides a great screening tool for analyzing the patient's vision and determining if additional eye trace analysis or other diagnostic tests may be necessary. We review another powerful screening display available with the eye trace, the Wavefront and Corneal Topography Summary Display, in another webcast edition. Tracy Technologies thanks you for your time today.